Oh, I love Masters Week. I mean, it is like the greatest week in golf. It's like Christmas week or what? I don't know what, what you would uh, compare to it. It is the ultimate golf week. Other majors are fantastic too, but the week of the Masters is special in every way. I did a video on my main channel. Not very many people have seen it. And <laughs> it's just all these cocktails inspired by Augusta National. So go check that out if you are looking to uh, indulge a little bit. And I think that video will do well. It's just, you know, no one, YouTube doesn't know what to do with it. It's very different than my normal main channel content. Maybe I should have posted it here, but regardless, it's a it's cocktail list and uh, it's fun. So enjoy that as you, uh, if you wish. Here we're going over the master's menu and how much is this going to cost John Rahm? You see the, ho the winner who hosts the champion's dinner is stuck with the bill. Now look, if you win a green jacket, you're happy to pay this bill, but how much is it? So I've gone through the menu. We've researched as much as best we can. We, we did some digging. My, my daughter works for a Michelin star chef. Okay. She's like the sous chef. She's trains. Anyways, she, it's a phenomenal. So she knows what she's doing. She was my researcher on this puppy and we looked up everything. We, it, it, it was a lot of fun. So we went through it and we'll show you what is for dinner. Now the chef, who is preparing this and their team, they're gonna have their own spin on everything. So it's gonna be very custom to each chef would prepare these things their own special way. So here we go. And I'm sure over there at Augusta National, there's not a shortage of phenomenal, top quality, five-star chefs that you can imagine. So let's get cracking here and uh, it's a Spanish, obviously, meal, inspired meal from John Rahm, the champion from last year. So I wish I should be Spanish. I should have been from Spain because that food, Mediterranean food, is by far my favorite. And this menu, oh, I would gain at least 10 pounds if I were at this champion's dinner. But you got to be a champion to be able to attend this dinner. So the room is relatively small well there's a lot of people so let's get to the menu we're going to start with tapas typical spanish style um, appetizer kind of deal there's a bunch of foods and you just basically have a little bit of everything forgive me if i butcher pronunciations of this stuff we're going to try to do the english uh, pronunciation here but here are the tapas that we're going with we're going with the acorn fed iberian ham and cured pork loin. That, that, first of all, that acorn fed Iberian ham, it's very, an acorn fed ham, this is very incredibly expensive. You're talking like $100 a pound or something ridiculous. Like this ham is not only raised in Spain, it's fed a very specific diet, it's a specific type of ham. So this is super high end specialty Spanish item. I wish I could have some of that right now. I'm getting hungry. All right, then we have a spicy Basque chorizo potato. Little potato dish, spectacular, classic Spanish meal there. Then you have this, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Um, it it does a ball cheese with black truffle. Okay, Spanish style, obviously everything's Spanish. The black truffles, we're talking a hun like $100 an ounce for this black truffle. There's black truffle oil, but I don't think they're gonna skimp out here. I think they're going a real deal. Black truffle, shall I, I mean, open your pocketbook here, John Rahm. Then we have a Spanish omelet, onions and confit potatoes. This just, you know, you would think that sounds like a breakfast, but it's a tapas. You can have a little taster of that. It's gonna be delicious. Of course, John is going with his Mama's Rom, Mama Rom's classic lentil stew. You can't have, like, obviously he has, uh, he grew up with this. So he's like, Ma, Mama, we got to have your lentil stew. Let's get it on the menu. And I wonder if she's going to be, I don't know if his mom's around or not. I don't know the story, but I would imagine so. And that'd be cool if she was there, like 
prepping it up in the kitchen, like for her son, that would be dope. That's right. I said dope. That would be epic if she's there. Cause then he, he, I'm sure he's tight with his mom and there she's in the kitchen and he would go back and say, hi, that would be really cool. All right. Then the final one is this creamy chicken fritters with confit potatoes. I don't know how you do this because a, a chicken fritter and the confit potatoes are kind of two separate things. So maybe you combobulate them somehow or another, or maybe the potatoes are just kind of on the side of the, uh, the fritter. Either way, I would eat probably six of those if I were at this dinner. This is why the dinner is on Tuesday and not Wednesday, because you don't want to eat this the night before round one. You just don't. You need a day to like recover. All right, then the first course is your salad. It's a Basque crab salad with potato. This, and oh, and it's a, um, it's typically served in that spider crab shell. So I would imagine that's how they're gonna serve it. Probably not like your typical salad. It's gonna be served in that uh, spider crab shell, which is pretty fancy. That's, that's as fancy as she gets right there for your salad. So, oh, I love a crab salad. Who doesn't love a crab salad? Then we get the main course. All right, now you have two options. And I'm sure that they probably even have a third option, like if you don't eat meat, but like if you're a vegan or vegetarian or something, but either way, you're, you're gonna choose one of these. You either get the Basque ribeye with uh, the, the Tudela lettuce and Paquillo peppers. I think I said that correctly. Paquillo, Paquillo peppers, I don't know. So that's your ribeye. That would be top shelf steak, medium rare for me all day long. I might even go like below medium rare just for, cause you know it's gonna be perfectly perfect. I'm hungry, I might have to take a break and get something to eat during this video, okay. Then, or you have your, your choice. You can get the fish, which is a, a turbot, which it kind of looks like a halibut, but it's flatter and both its eyes are on the same side of his head. Maybe you know what this is. It's a Spanish meal, turbot, with a um, Navarra white asparagus. And this white asparagus is no joke. This is not easy. You just don't go to the market and get white asparagus. Like it's a specialty Spanish item. So I love asparagus. I love roasted asparagus with some olive oil and salt and pepper on that thing. White. I'll take that too, all day long. So we got the white asparagus. Then for dessert, you have a puff, a puff pastry cake, custard and chantilly cream. This, I showed my daughter and she's like, oh yeah, I can make that and like, no problem. And I'm like, <laughs> she's like, it does, it's not as hard as it looks. So it looks spectacular. And that would be the dessert. All right, then you of course are going to have wine options for dinner. So I would imagine you're gonna have maybe a, a wine pre-dinner while you wait or, or a cocktail mingle style, you're just hanging out, eating your tapas, having a cocktail. Then you know if you're gonna get the, the meat, the, the ribeye or the, the, the fish, so you're gonna get a red or white. So I'm pro I would imagine there's gonna be a wine list that Rom uh, selected ahead of time for everybody to choose from. Now. Rom's not gonna be a cheapskate here. He's gonna give him some good quality wines to choose from. And then you're gonna have your dessert, and I would imagine there's an after dinner drink menu there as well for whatever you want. So, a nice liqueur or whatever you get. A port, I don't know. You, They're gonna do what they're gonna do. This is why this thing's on Tuesday and not Wednesday. Cause these guys are gonna, you never know. Some guys throwing it back on Tuesday and then Wednesday, they're just whew, taking a break and then they're ready to compete. Either way, John Rom gets fit, stuck with this bill. How many people are going to be at this dinner? To my best estimate, counting past champions, it looks like there's going to be 35 people at this meal. So you got 35 people plus a tip. No, there's waiters, wait staffs. So you're going to tip too. You don't not tip. You can't not tip, and you got to tip generously. 20%, I would say, would be minimum. So, and you won. What if an amateur won the dang masters and then he gets stuck with this bill and he's still an amateur? Then what do you do? You'd be like, dude, I, 
can I borrow, can I borrow some cash? <laughs> you got, you might, you got, I had to turn pro last week just to pay for this dang dinner. So how much is this gonna cost? What do you think? Leave your comment below. I'm gonna give my best estimate here of what I calculated this meal is going to set John Ron back. But comment below. I'm estimating that a meal like this, this is your Michelin star meal. So if you went to a Michelin star restaurant, you're paying about $1,000 for a meal like this, which is gonna include your wine, unless you go like really like old school high end, you know, thousand dollar a bottle of wine, then that's, you know, that's going to raise the price. But I'm going to say this meal is going to run a thousand dollars a person, a thousand dollars a person for a meal. So that's $35,000. If there are about 35 people in that room, plus a tip. So add the tip on there. I'm guessing it's $35,000 plus tip plus a little extra just because you don't want to be that guy who tipped less than the last guy. I would tip, honestly, man, I'm going to tip at this meal. If I'm the master champ, I I might tip, to be honest with you, I might tip 100%. I'm, I might spend 70 grand on this dinner just because I'm so grateful. It's like, who cares? Who cares? You want a couple, you, you could afford it, John. You can afford it. I would tip 100%. That's me. How much, how much would you tip? You got a dang green jacket on. How much you tipping on your first ever champion's dinner? I would set the bar high. I would tip 100%. Let me know your thoughts. I got to go get some lunch now, man. I'm starving. I need some of that ribeye. Hope you like this. Let me know what you think. God, I love this week. See you guys next time.